Slovenia with the mountain troops. Actually, there's some uh, U.S. National Guard here as well from Colorado. I'm on a very interesting journey. I'm now in Slovenia near Lake Bled, and I'm on a uh, military base. Derek's for we the are troops. going to catch a military transport helicopter. It's up it's into, hopefully, if the skies are looking okay, to Mount Mangart, which is the location of what's called the Great Ski Race, which took place June 3rd, 1945. What makes this race so important is that it took place in the months of May and July, 1945. The Germans had already surrendered. There, there was still fighting in, in the Pacific. The 10th Mountain Division was wondering, would they be going home? Instead, the Allies decided to push all the mountain troops up against the Yugoslavian line because the leader of Yugoslavia was threatening to take over more territory in Italy. Now, most of this region is mountains. It's the Julian Alps. And during that time, they discovered that the Germans had left behind all their climbing gear and all their ski gear. So while they were holding the line, they decided to keep their training acute and do mountain maneuvers. They discovered a snowfield up on Mount Mangart, and then on June 3rd, 1945, they held the first post-World War II ski race. The winner of that race was world champion Walter Prager. And second was Steve Knowlton. The first American uh, ski race on European soil. Why? Because after the Olympic Games in, in Garmisch-Partenkirchen, 1938, Americans decided, because of Hitler and uh, Nazism, will not participate on sport events in Europe after uh, uh, Winter Olympic Games in Garmisch-Partenkirchen. This uh, uh, race on Mount Mangard is probably first American race on European soil after 1938. Soldiers, uh, they were weighted with a lot of tragedies, difficult kind of military life uh, through World War II. And suddenly on this place of the world close to River Socha on Mount Mangard, they found a place to make a sport skiing race. So it means what, what sport is meaning uh, as a value of life. It was, this competition was like an expression of freedom uh, for them. In še ena novost, na posem drugem področju, na filmskem platnu, bo zaživela edinstvena, a dolgo pozabljena tekma najboljših ameriških smučarjev na Mangartu ob koncu druge svetovne vojne, 3. junija 1945. Veleslavnsko tekmo na Mangartskem sedlu so organizirali pripadniki ameriške 10. gorske divizije, v kateri so bili tedaj najboljši ameriški alpski smučarji. Šele 50 let po edinstveni ameriški smučarski tekmi na Mangrtu je Janez Kavar njeno sled na ključno odkril v Smučarskem muzeju v ameriškem vejlu. 76 vojakov se je prijavilo za to tekmo, ker je bil pa teren zelo težak s trm, to je nad Mangrtskim sedlom in če še upoštevamo, da je bil to začetek junija, sneg je bil mokr, težak, samo 25 od teh vojakov je prečkalo ciljno črto. Zmagal je Walter Prager, obenem prvi svetovni prvak v smuku leta 1931. Smučarska tekma je bila prva v Evropi, na kateri so američani sodelovali po olimpijskih igrah leta 1936 oziroma v sponu na cizma. Zgodba je navdušila tudi profesionalnega smučarja, ki skoraj 30 let sodeluje pri snemanju športnih filmov, ter redno prihaja v Julijske Alpe. Now that I've learned that the 10th, who was uh, developed in the region where I'm from in Colorado, had such, they, they literally, their footprints are here 
in this part of the world and it's a, it's just a coincidence that's beyond belief. So I've found that it's sort of my obligation now that I need to connect the dots of both. Povezal ih bo v dokumentarni film, ki že nastaja. I'm doing this all on my own, raising money for it and I'm doing it in a way that it's not for profit. Dokončal bi ga rad do 2020 oziroma 75-letnice slovite tekme, o kateri Kavar pripravlja tudi knjigo. Kakšna slapo se obodi po miru in mogo rela biti med temi vojaki, če so recimo se lotili te tekme. Avtor filma je prepričan, da bo zgodba navdušila tudi američane, saj pravi, da se vse bolj zanimajo za zgodovino njihovega smučanja.